Hey there, welcome to Threadheads. You'd be amazed at how much great stuff gets thrown in the dumpster. This week we found expired coffee, which we're gonna use to answer this viewer question. Got any ideas for fixing up old jeans? We sure do, and it includes dyeing those jeans in these coffee grinds. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is make the dye. You'll need your coffee, preferably espresso grade. We're gonna use two of these, which are about 10 ounces a piece. Now, if you don't find any of these in a dumpster, expect to pay about a buck 50 in your local supermarket. Next, get a three to five gallon bucket. We pick these up for free at our neighborhood ice cream shop. Mmm, chocolate ripple. So you're gonna wanna make a filter. Corinne gave us these old stockings that we're gonna cut and pour the coffee directly into. Now tie them up, put them in the bucket, and add hot water, filling it up about three quarters of the way so you leave enough room for the jeans. Let it brew for about 15, 20 minutes. The general rule is pretty much the darker the brew, the darker the stain. Hi. Right. Now drop in your jeans. Let it sit overnight and check your results in the morning. Now, just take them out and throw them in the washer and dryer. The result, a light brown vintage tint to your jeans. For further styling, take sandpaper and a couple random objects, put them in the pockets and sand around the edges. Cheese graters really work well for small abrasions and tears. And then you can always run them over with your car. The end result, a pretty rad looking pair of jeans. For more tricks and other natural dyes like beets, carrots, flowers, and teas, check out this week's links. Um, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Online this week, we found a bunch of very interesting fashion. So, we decided to put together a list of the World Wide Web's top 10 wild and wacky wares. Number 10, the headband headset. Hands-free and looking good. Number 9, ballet boots. Looks somewhat difficult. Number eight, lap style laptop covers. Hey, your computer wants to look good too. Number seven, computer privacy hoodie. Don't want people to see what you're looking at online? Well, here's the solution. Number six, the transformer. Because transformers and people who build themselves into transformers are cool. Number five, animatronic fashion. Clothing with a mind of its own. Number four, the makeup man. This is what happens when your favorite accessory is beer. Number three, ski mask from 1965. Yeah, just a little scary. Number two, the solar bikini. Um, is this thing waterproof? And number one, Glofer. This is one of my favorites. Yes, this is, this is definitely for the guys. You know, you can go out anywhere with this and be seen, that's for sure. When we return, the rest of our show. Dude, what are you wearing? It's armor. I made it myself over the weekend. Why? To fight a dragon. There's no such thing as... Thank you, vile mythical beast! Be strong, homemade armor! A little while back, a friend on MySpace told us to check out Berta Style, an amazing site for open source sewing. Hell, who wants to pay for patterns anymore? Not me. Together with uh, my partner Benedicta, we both founded a sewing website for open source sewing. Basically, we're showing you the process, how to make patterns, how to make designs, how to change them. That's really important. It's about sharing information. It's about um, sharing contacts. It's a community website. There's something for everybody, for every size, for every taste, for every you know fabric. At the end, we're hoping to have this big pool of beautiful designs where everyone can pull from. The original inspiration we got from Anna Berta, who founded um, a sewing pattern company in Germany in the 50s. To make it open source was um, Rob Kalin from Etsy, actually. He introduced us to the concept, to the philosophy of it, and we fell in love with it. So open source is kind of the next step, you know, bringing it into the next century, doing the next thing. Yeah. And speaking of the next big thing, our friends over at Jet Set just won a People's Choice Webby. Yeah! And we've got something to celebrate too, like the amount of videos you've been sending in. Here's a few in response to episode 10's recycled tote bag lesson.
and Viola. Got myself a handbag. Keep up the amazing work. And remember, if you have any DIY tips, questions, or projects of your own, video them, send them in, we'll put them on the show. Till next week. Thank <laughs> you.